All right, what's going on? Happy Monday. There's our little Monday warm up. We got a good one today. Nothing too, too crazy, but an interesting scenario. We're gonna play a little bit of a game today. We're gonna play a game called, where would you set up the pump? So for this first video here, we're gonna take a walk around. We're gonna look at a couple different options here, go over the options, the pros and the cons of each. And then uh, part two will continue on to the actual setup based on where we decide to set up. So, so we got here, let me just open this fence, camera in mouth time. What we got here is about five loads of concrete for a house foundation, footings and walls. Pretty straightforward stuff. So what I'm looking at here for setup option number one is nosing up into here, not too far, otherwise I'm gonna have to get into uh, excavating some dirt for the front outrigger. So I'll nose up into here. Well, we're accurately probably back here. Outrigger on the sidewalk, outrigger on the sidewalk. Lots of dunnage as not to crack them. And that puts my hopper back out here. And the mixer truck can back on at 90 degrees, no problemo. If I were to pull in further, not only will I have to dig dirt, but it puts my hopper about here. It sits the mixer on an angle where he's either blocking the road or he's coming across the neighbor's crossing here. And we don't want to uh, risk cracking that. So now the only challenge with setting up further back here, position myself as such that I can lift my boom up right between the trees and do as little pruning as possible. Not super difficult to do, um, but uh, you know, it is a little bit of a challenge, but I am liking this setup, uh, recirculating, because usually with these foundations, at some point we end up waiting on concrete, usually for the balance or tag load. Uh, recirculating will be possible, but a little bit of a pain with the trees in the way, but there's other ways to, uh, to get around that. So some other options we can, can visit if we go down that route. So I'm gonna walk around to the back here and we'll look at uh, setup option number two. But number one here, lots of reach. We'll probably have to short rig one of the back outriggers, not a big deal, because we're gonna lift the boom out of the cradle, unfold off the front end, it's all good. We're, uh, we're nice, we're safe, we're not uh, infringing on uh, any of the, uh, the short rigged working range as specified by the manufacturer. So, love these tree barriers. It'd be so easy, in theory, just to knock this down and throw an outrigger in there. Uh, huge no-no. We've actually had sites where the police have been called because outriggers were too close to the roots of the tree. That is a true story, so we are not going to do that. Okay, let's go around back and have a look. Okay, setup option number two, back lane here. Now I've got my, uh, my fancy dancy rangefinder laser here, which tells me from where the pedestal of the pump would be. It's 31 meters to the far wall. So I've got the 38 meter five section, which gives me 33 meters of horizontal reach. So reach is not an issue. Uh, if we take this fence down, we've got lots of room for our back outrigger right in front of the garage here. And the front outrigger we would throw up in around on this soil here. Now that looks to be a little bit loose, so I'd use a lot of dunnage on that, but uh, it, uh, it, I'm confident that it will be a good supporting soil for the front outrigger there. Uh, we would short rig on the non-working side, obviously. We do have power lines on the non-working side, so we can unfold keeping 10 feet away from those. That's our local regulation. That's a 12.5 kV wire on the top. So we're required to maintain minimum 10 foot uh, distance from that wire at all times. So that's not a problem. We can easily work around that. So but my biggest concern here, the big one, back lane does a hard right hand turn here and carries on quite some ways around the corner. The problem is gonna be cars are gonna drive all the way down and see the lanes blocked by a pump and a mixer. I'm going to have to back all the way out and they're going to be very not happy about it. I guess it doesn't carry around all that far actually, but still it's, uh, it's going to happen. So that is my biggest concern with this setup is just dealing with potentially angry neighbors. Neighborhoods like this, we got to, uh, got to keep the peace. We do a lot of work around here. It's our name on the side of the truck. So it's not, uh, not a matter of just block the road off and forget about them. 
it doesn't work like that at least not around here it doesn't so but otherwise aside from that this is a much easier setup the mixers are gonna have to back all the way down the lane which is kind of a pain in the butt but the setup itself is probably a lot easier than going out front recirculating the pump easy peasy lots of reach good supporting ground and uh, yeah so the question is which one would you choose which one and why i think they're oh, i know they're both safe they can both be done safely uh this one is easier on my end but we're gonna have to deal with the traffic issue maybe we put cones at the end of the lane so that people can be notified before they make it this far that it's blocked off but even at that i don't think they're going to be too uh too understanding so so what would you do where would you set up here there why would you do it is there anything i'm missing here as far as the site assessment anything else that you're looking for there are no buried drains no buried hazards nothing like that so what else should we be looking for here and taking into account so i'm going to do a part two to this video this will probably come out on wednesday and on uh on saturday we'll have the second part and we'll reveal where we decided to set up, how we did it, how it worked out. But uh, yeah, this, I'm hoping this makes for some, some good discussion, some good respectful discussion from operators. What would you do and why? Let me know in the comments. Until then, be safe, keep it shiny side up.